So we, we have this, ba this palette that we are using here. And uh, the idea of using uh, this B3 map is just uh, for our study here. Of course, if it was a real blockchain, it would be uh, stored in a database in the file system or something like that. In this case, we are using this memory structure just for uh, having this balances stored in memory. Uh, but uh, one thing that you might be um, might be important to understand is how how the the this structure the B three map works. So let let me put some code here so you're going to see uh, some examples. So imagine that I have this map and I want to insert uh, like for example. Uh, let me just import here. Let me import here. Okay, perfect. So this code, wh what this code does, it is creating a map here. And this map is inserting in the key Alice, the value 100. And when you try to get this value, it will return uh, some something or none so this is this is one thing very important in uh, in rust that some some people that are not familiar with this concept sometimes let me just run this code because it's it, it doesn't do anything just just uh prints and inserts and do some assertions but uh when you have a map and you try to get something from it anything that you try to get uh if you uh, uh, assign this to a variable, let me put like x, you're gonna see that this variable is the type, the type of this variable is an option. Even if the value inside the map is an integer, uh, the result when you try to get something is not an integer, is a is an option of integer, which means it can be some integer, in this case, when you get Alice, it's going to be some hundred. But if you try to get some value that doesn't exist, it will return none. It will return uh, none, which is the other op possibility of an option. And uh, and then the way you, you extract the value, one, one way to extract the value. Uh, let me put this. Let me copy this code. Uh, you, when you get something like this is a maybe value, this value may be something or maybe not. So, and then you do a pattern match with the value. And if it is an integer, and then you can print like print, uh, you can print the value. And if it's known, maybe you don't do anything or, or you can uh okay i can do this no problem and then you can print like no value and if you do some run you're gonna it's printing 100 but imagine if the key was something different like bob which doesn't exist and when i try to run it will print no value. So this is this is the way you deal with um, with with values in a, in a B three map. And also, when you try to uh, in there's another way of doing this. Uh, you can instead of like pattern matching, sometimes doing a lot of pattern matching can make your code very verbose. So the way you can do is that you can uh, use another uh, constructor in, in Rust, which is the unwrap or. Unwrap, unwrap or. Unwrap or zero. Uh, so what is this unwrap or? This unwrap or makes this. 
if there is a value inside, if the, it is some value, it will return the value. But if there is no value, it will return a default thing that I can put here, like for example, zero. So in, in the case of looking for balances, someone, what is Daniel balance? If there is no key Daniel, it will automatically return zero. So this is a way to deal with the situation when there is no balance for someone. If there is no balance, we assume that the balance is zero. So this is the way. And now uh, we are going to implement in, uh, inside our, um, our balances, we have two functions to implement. We will, let me copy the code here. Below this, we have these two functions that we will implement right now using the, what we already learned about uh, B3 map. So imagine that you want to set the balance for Alice. So who, who will be Alice and the amount will be Alice's amount. And the idea is to use the balances that I already have here, this is structured to store Alice's balance. So basically very simple, nothing, no rocket science. When you uh, use the B3 map. So to access the, the balances that I already have here, I have this pointer for self. See the difference between this function and this function is that this function, it's very similar to Python. When you have this function with no um, argument, it will be like a class function or a, uh, a function that is implemented for the palette uh, structure itself. Uh, when you have this first argument as a mutu mutable self, this will point to the actual uh, instance of the palette. So in this case, uh, when I access self dot, I have access to everything that is inside this, this structure. In this case, we have the balances. So when I do self dot balances, and then I can insert uh, in this case who uh, and I'm cloning I, I will expect why I'm cloning and then the amount amount so basically my function set balance is just inserting in my map here the balance for the person who I just passed as an argument. And if I want to return this, how would it be? Similar to what I did here, remember, using the get. And I can do the same strategy or of, or of unwrap or zero. So basically I do self dot balances dot get who and wrap or zero and then I don't have this and then it will be a pointer the reference okay so basically this is this is everything that we needed to do I, we are still not using the palette but the way I did here, I am actually able to use the palette right now because I have balances. And this balances, uh, these balances are stored in a B3 map. 